Hey everybody, it is Tuesday, April 21st, and I just want to be able to say hello to you and trust that your week is off to a good start. Um, and just know that we are praying for you. And in this, uh, in, on this particular day, um, my hope is that uh, God continues to show you just a little bit more of how he's caring for you. You know, this past Sunday, um, one of the things that we spoke about was this was this concept of lament, uh, this form of prayer where we where we come to God and uh, we talk about uh, the things that are troubling us and we let Him know that. You know, one of the keys about lament is that this is our personal response to God. It's a personal, private conversation that we have with God. And before I do that, let me also let me just bring you this one update. Uh, from Landmark Village. I just spoke with Janice, uh, the executive director, and uh, her tone of voice, uh, her countenance was much brighter today. Um, as you may have heard on the news, they had testing throughout their facility, their staff, and, and, the, and the rest of the residents. And while there were an, uh, an, another number of um, a positive results. Um, most of those are asymptomatic. That means they don't show any signs of uh, of COVID nineteen symptoms. And so uh, her words were, "They they feel like there's a there's a light at the end of the tunnel for this." And so she's so very thankful for the encouragement uh, that uh, they, as a staff, have received from people like us as well. And we'll be doing something for them again uh, later this week. And so just keep praying for them, uh, for her, Janice, as the executive director, for the staff as they care for the residents there, for the residents themselves, particularly those who have tested positive, that they might be encouraged, and for all of them as they're isolated from uh, friends and family uh, in the community, that, uh, that God would just continue to watch over them. Uh, so I want to share a little bit more about uh, from Psalm 13 about about lament, and then also share with you one of the questions. A good question would be, how have I uh, interacted with this over the course of time? Um, this idea of lament. And, you know, Psalm 13. I can break it down. Let me break it down to you in uh, in really three different uh, three different uh, areas. It starts out with this feeling of defeat. We feel defeated, and we. We, we can tend to, to lash our complaints out to others, but the reminder really is that we need to go first to God. What are we feeling defeated about? And it's like God has left us alone. We feel isolated. We feel alone in, in the defeat that we, uh, that we are facing or that, in the, that we are feeling. And then, uh, and then it moves to just this recognition that we are wearied from this feeling of defeat. And, and certainly... Um, you know, this uh, self-isolation, uh, the social distancing, this physical distancing, distancing, being at home for long periods of time can be wearying and you might be surprised by that. Uh, and really a lot of that has to do just being taken out of our normal rhythm. Uh, we're making decisions uh, about, uh, about things that we're not used to making decisions about in the middle of the day, or we're having our schedules, our, our work rhythms interrupted. We are, we're starting to, to do a little bit here, but then we get pulled over here because maybe we have children at home or spouses at home or pets running around or all of them, uh, happening. And we're, and so we're, we're having to make those decisions for those of us who are, for those, for those people who are extroverts, we miss being around people. And actually, for those, for those of us who are introverts, we kind of miss being around people so that we understand just how much we value not being around people. And so that can be fatiguing in and of itself, uh, to have enough social interaction to recognize that we need time on our own, and then having time on our own, which is valuable so that we can re-engage. We're kind of missing all of those kinds of things. Uh, in, from our lives, and that can be fatiguing, can be mentally fatiguing for us. And the reminder, as as the psalm ends, is uh, is to think back that God has been good to us in the past. So whatever our present circumstances is that is causing us to feel defeated, that is causing us to complain privately to God, to remember in the in that context that He has been good to us. And so to look back and see how have we seen, recognized the love of God in our lives, 
What, where has our joy come from in our relationship with Jesus, the joy of our salvation? What is it that, that being rightly related to Jesus has meant to us? Thirdly, what is it that we are thankful for? To start being thankful, to learn to identify, hey, this is, these are some things I can be thankful for. And the last thing is, how has, have we seen God deliver us in the past? How have we seen God show up and help us, give us strength when we feel weak, to pick us up when we feel down, to bring, to, to bring solutions, to provide for our needs? How have we done that? Take note of those things. Write those things down. Make a timeline on them. Establish that, if you, if you will. Scrapbook it. Figure out a way uh, to, to itemize those things. Because then that helps us to remind, to, to remind us that God isn't leaving us alone, but he's at work and he's got a solution that we have yet to see and keeps us watching for how that's going to unfold. How has this played out in my life? Well, it's played out over and over and over again. There's so many things, a growing number of things that I don't know and uh, I am feel ill-equipped to deal with. Certainly the most significant of which uh, was the, even the, the death of my own father. And I remember sitting in a room after uh, his pronouncement of death and I'd sent the rest of the family home and I was I just cried out to God over and over and over again. I don't know how how am I supposed to take care of my family? How am I supposed to uh deal with my my with my parent with my stepmother and and my siblings? How am I going to get through a funeral? How am I going to take care of uh how am I going to work again in the, in the ministry of the church? How do I how do I f- function in that way? How do I speak in front of a group of people? All those kinds of things. And certainly that's probably the most significant example, but certainly there's other things that have transpired. And as they transpire, you don't, I don't even know how I'm going to do that. Often, many times, even on Sunday mornings, I will, I spend Saturday night and Sunday mornings lamenting. God, I don't even know how I can get up and speak in front of people. You know that I can't speak very well. So how, how is that even going to take place? And and the things that go through me. And so those are the things that I, that I continually uh, pour out to God and everything in between. There's so much that I privately communicate to God and I ask for His strength and deliverance in. And one of the keys is that as after I do that in private, and sometimes I do that in the privacy of a room or when I'm out for a walk or a run or just to get away from people. So when, and sharing emotion, that's not that's not for somebody else to to hear uh, so that stays between me and God and then when I leave that space when I leave that time with God after I've given God thanks for the ways in which he's looked after me in the past and the difference that Christ has made in my life then we go in the full knowledge that God is with us and uh, we wait to see how he's going to answer in the time to come so that's a little bit for me and uh, we're going to kind of stay focused on this idea of lament. If you have something that, that's troubling you and that you would like to, us to be praying for as well, feel free to text me, message me, uh, email me, give me a call. I'll be happy to uh, count it a privilege uh, to pray for you and with you uh, through some things. But take it to, take it to the Lord and uh, let's, let's entrust that He has a solution beyond what we can figure out. Uh, in this. And so thanks. Uh, Take care of your families. Keep well. Keep your hands washed. And let's uh, continue to make a difference.